Alright, well, welcome back to Mystic Quest. We beat the Bone Dungeon, saved the Earth Crystal. So now everything's looking a lot more lively in this place, which I am all about. Let's see how things are going in Foresta. Hey, all the people who are old are now back to being kids. Thanks for saving us and the trees. Go save the crystals. Will do, lady. Will do. But first, I'm going to loot all your respawning shit. Got some more cure. Going to go heal. Steal some more cure. Eh, actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't need to heal. I'm fine. I just got like six cure potions. I can just use those to heal. Fuck it. Let's see. Is this Phoebe's house? This is... This is not Phoebe's house. Kylie can talk- Kylie's house, sorry. Phoebe is a different character. Who I think I'll be seeing soon. Kylie's house, there we go. Hi, Mom. Hurry and give Kylie the medicine. Well, maybe I could give you the medicine and you could give it to Kylie. I don't fucking know. Brynn, is it really you? Yeah, drink this. Now I can go visit Spencer in Aquaria. Well, how about you rest from almost dying and I'll go to Aquaria through the Focus Tower that I now have the coin. So I can go and talk and do that. Bye now! Yeah, see you later, lady. Honestly, the most realistic character. Don't take my daughter somewhere dangerous. You took my daughter somewhere dangerous. Now she's hurt. Go get the thing that'll help her. All right, you saved my daughter. Now get the fuck out of here. Yeah, most realistic character. And we have another battlefield, so I will see you guys in a minute after I've taken this out. Alright, welcome back. So, I just cleaned them out. I'm pretty sure I just got a bunch of gold for it. Um, so now I can go to the first leg of Focus Tower. Which also has a bunch of these little hidden areas. Remember, Captain Mac will be crucial on your quest. And a girl named Phoebe can help you. But I'm going to Aquaria. Well, maybe you'll find her along the way, jackass. I don't think this leads me anywhere. At least not anywhere I can actually go yet. Oh, yeah, this just leads me back over here. Okay, yeah. So what I did before was just a shortcut, because this doesn't actually take me anywhere. I... neat. So this is Focus Tower. You can always get explosives here, which is very useful. And as you can see, we have coins. This has sword, or we have doors. That has sword, fire, wand, cup runneth over. Um, but if you might remember, in the sand temple, or the bone dungeon, I should say, I got a sand coin, or a sword coin, which opens that. So that's how the game kind of gate checks you for each area. You have to beat the boss to get the coin to open the door to go to the next area. Pretty simple. Like I said, this game was made to be pretty easy to understand and play. And now I have fire, so now I have a much better uh, dark magic that I can use, which is going to be very, very useful in these areas. And actually, I'm going to run back to the previous town and heal, and then come back and take out this battlefield, but I will see you guys right after I finish beating up this battlefield. Alright, so this is the last in this battlefield, so we're just going to bomb them out. Alright, and what does this one give me? Got 99 XP. Yeah, sometimes they give you cool shit, sometimes they just give you XP. But we got the Libra Temple. Which can't really do much here yet, because I don't have the crest. But we have you. Hi. It's hopeless. I give up. Aquarius frozen. People are sick. Grandpa's trapped. I'm outie. Wait, have you ever heard of a man named Spencer? Why, that's my grandpa. What luck? Let's go free him. But we can't. I'm going home. Wait, whoa, 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 where are you from? What's your name? Oh, sorry, I'm Phoebe from Aquaria. Wait, you're Phoebe? Then I'm going with you. And you just forcibly join Phoebe's party. 
she doesn't say anything about it. She's, you're just in it. You're just in it, fam. This place also has an endless supply of those. So you can just keep exiting and just coming back in. And... Bam, more explosives. So you can just do that over and over to max out your explosives if you choose to. I'm not going to do that right now because I vow because I don't really need to. But what I am gonna do is take out these two battlefields. <laughs> All right, you know the drill. All right, what do I get from this one? Clear them out. Got 300 gold. All right, neat. Well, on to the next one then. All right, so we got the last one here. So let's just take these guys out. One nice thing about Phoebe, uh, she's really good at magic, which is very effective in this game. I like magic a lot. And I got a magic ring! All right, neat. I believe that is an armor. Yeah, and it's a buff up for my charm. So now I'm immune to silence, which is going to be very nice. And now, we can finally go to Aquaria. <laughs> I want to rest at the inn. I also want to talk to you. How about some explosives? Eh, that's okay. Take a nice rest for 95 gold. Oof, that's a lot of gold. How much do I have? Where do I see how much gold I have? Oh, eh. You know what, sure. I'll stay. I'm gonna need that. There are things you want to buy in this game, but most of your money is probably gonna, really gonna be spent on uh, resting at inns and whatnot. There's very few useful things to actually purchase. There are a few, but not a whole lot. Can't go down the waterfall because it's frozen, which is bullshit. It should just become a water slide now, but whatever. Hop through this frozen ass town. God damn it, get out of the way. Thank you. Monster in the ice period makes itself invisible. Well, that's gonna be difficult to deal with. So, Phoebe, where is Spencer trapped? In the tunnel he was digging under here, the dirt is frozen solid so we can't get out. Can we melt it? Not unless we get white water from the Spring of Life, but a monster in the wintry cave stole the leap request, which will warp us to the Life Temple. Alright, so we just gotta get the leap request. Alright, cool. So we gotta get the leap request. Nice, finally. Up. Okay, cool. So this is an easy place to come and get those. I'm probably gonna farm those here in a little while. I thought there was someone I needed to talk to here about getting a helmet. Although maybe I'm mistaken. How do I get over there? I get over there through here. All right, cool. Uh, maybe it was in this house. It might have been in this house. Monster in the ice period up north is draining the power of the crystal of water. Well, sounds like I'm gonna have to go kick his ass then. Yeah, buy a steel helmet for 200 gold. Okay. Fuck yeah. Hope you're happy with the steel helmet. I will be, I'm sure. Magic mirror which reflects the images of monsters. Gonna have to get that at some point. Refreshers. This is a really good town. I don't remember what refreshers do. I don't remember what refreshers do. Like heal potions, cure status ailments, seeds, I believe restore MP? Maybe refreshers? I think refreshers might be the uh, revive item. Like if you're knocked out, I think it wakes you up. But I'm not really sure because by the time you're going to be dealing with that, you get the life spell and then you don't really have to worry about it too much anymore. Alright, cool. Well, uh, I need to do some quick calculations, see how long we've been going here. Let's see, so... Two minutes... Four minutes... Wait... Okay, so yeah, two minutes, four minutes... Six minutes... 
God, we haven't been going for very long, have we? Okay, well... We do still have these battlefields to deal with. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to be able to deal with both of them before I have to go into the Wintry Cave. Ah, fuck it! It's the Battlefield episode! I'll see you guys in a sec after I take care of this one. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea how long this episode is. Uh, so... I think what I'm probably going to do here is just clear out the Wintry Cave. And then we'll go ahead and move forward uh, to the next episode. Because I have a feeling most of the time I've been sitting here playing has just been off screen <laughs> in this one. <laughs> Should right down here. One, two, three. All right. Cool. Ah, fuck. I'm poisoned. Uh, one thing I did do while I was off screen was I went back and forth and grabbed a whole bunch of heal potions so I can deal with being poisoned. Would be nice if I could find a place that gives me a whole bunch of seeds, but that's a little bit harder to come by. I have found. Uh, and in a battle like this... No! Fuck! Ah, oh, sh shit. That was a super waste. That was super waste. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> a single fire spell from her could take out this entire room in one attack. Oh. Oh, that hurts. That was such a waste of MP. Fuck me. Alright, well, fine. All that for explosives, too. Uh-huh. That is so bad. That is so bad. Alright. Because here's what's supposed to happen. Because most of the things in this section that I'm going to be dealing with are weak to fire. I'm pretty sure the only thing that aren't are those frogs. But even so... Fire will still take them down most of the way. Uh, unless the worms might not be weak to fire either. I'm not sure. But yeah, Phoebe's fire spell can just clear these things. No problem. Like, this is how I dealt with all of those uh, battlefields. It's just fire spell through all of them. <laughs> because that is the leech strat for these. But it doesn't matter if these guys are weak to fire or not, because I have the power of Axe, which they are weak to. Sweet, got him stunned and poisoned. I like it. Yeah, Phoebe's Claw has the ability to stun, and it has the ability to poison, just like uh, Tristam's stuff. Ah, and I fell! But Phoebe didn't, because she has the Claw. And now, I have the Claw. And she has arrows. So, I now have her claw, which is not as strong as any of my other weapons. Oh, and this is something to keep note of. As I go up levels, my weapons will get stronger, will have higher attack power, except for bombs. Bombs are static. So at this point in the game, unless I am fighting a single opponent, bombs will not do as much damage. Well, Bombs will only do more damage than my other weapons if I'm fighting one opponent, because I've gone up levels. So now, even using the Cat Claw, uh, one hit from the Cat Claw will still do more damage than a bomb if there's more than one opponent on the field. Now the Bow of Grace, which I has a chance to blind, is stronger than goddamn everything I have. Fuck you, Phoebe. But... Yeah, so now I have the claw, and the claw lets me climb, which is pretty fun. I like the claw. I think the claw is probably my favorite weapon, uh, just because it has stat the chance to deal status, which is really fun. I really like being able to deal status ailments to opponents, and I can drop down a little bit and climb, drop down a little bit, climb. Um, okay, so I gotta figure out how to get to places here. I think that's the way I want to go. 
so let's go other places first. So now, I can still claw, and Phoebe can still just fire. I do need to be a little bit careful to not just overuse all of my magic. But at the same time, I can afford to be a little spendy with it. She has a lot of magic. She also has wizard magic, which is pretty useful. Let's see. These guys, though, I think I want to just shoot. Yeah. And if it's one opponent, Phoebe's regular attack can pretty easily one-hit KO. Doesn't matter if you confuse me, because Phoebe's just gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Phoebe fucking kills you. Sweet, got some more refreshers. Refreshers are good. I like refreshers. Where does this lead me? Th through an easy enemy, so I'm not that worried, but... And I still get to attack first, too. Nice. I think the claw is also faster. I think having the claw doesn't decrease your speed as much as having other weapons out. Um, you know what? That's pretty easy to actually demonstrate. Because I can just go through status and then change my weapons. And you can see... Okay, so yeah. Attack changes between these two. They actually have the same accuracy and evasion stat, which is kind of surprising. Uh, the claw has higher magic, so you'll do more damage with your magic than you would be. But it has lower attack. And then the bomb... Eh, it's a bomb. Oh, well, that's interesting, though. I always thought that the sword and the claw had more uh, defense... Or more accuracy than the sword. Maybe that was a misnomer this entire time. Maybe I was mistaken from when I was a child. Alright. I'm kind of okay with that, because now there's literally no penalty for just using the stronger weapon. Let's see... Uh, sure, I'll see what's behind this chest. These guys are easy to take out. I'm not going to be using, uh... I probably won't be using magic to deal with them, because I can just take them out with hits. Oh, I should have used the axe there. Oh well, I missed anyway, so <laughs> it's not like it really matters. Bow of Grace. Oh, even the bow missed. Why am I why am I always missing now? Stop missing. The first episode I couldn't do anything but crit. Now I can't do anything but miss. I don't appreciate that. Ooh. But that's okay, because I strike first. Also, yeah, do take note, Phoebe's level 15. She starts you off level 15. You're gonna have Phoebe for a long time. I'm pretty sure you have her through the entirety of the water section in this game. Oh, all right, cool, I'll take that. Even confused, Phoebe still kicks ass. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so let's blow you up. Let's see where this takes me. Um, I don't think I want to actually be up here yet. I think... I want to see what was over here. I think I want to go through there, actually. It's the way I was going, I think it's the way I'm supposed to go. And, you know, it's an RPG. It's an RPG dungeon. You don't want to go the way you're supposed to go. You want to go the way you're not supposed to go. Got him poisoned. I'll take it. I like poison. When I do it to other people, not when it happens to me. Alright. Neat. Can I go under here? Where does it lead me? Nowhere. Alright, cool. Well, let's take out you. Uh, yeah, I f kind of feel bad using up all my magic this early in, but at the same time, I just don't want to deal with fighting these guys. And then I miss anyway, and I end up having to deal with fighting these guys. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god, stop missing. <laughs> Thank you. I just want them to die. All right, so where does this one take me after I deal with these opponents? Actually, 
Maybe I'll just use some fire here. I don't think my fire is strong as Phoebe's, but when it's only against two opponents, it should still do the job. Blow you up. Alright. I think these guys are also weak to axe. Land turtle. Yep, weak to axe. Alright, cool. That makes this easy. Get some more cure, get some more arrows. I know when I was younger, I would purposely make sure I fought every single opponent. Because I remember this game getting really difficult towards the end. And feeling like I needed to over-level as much as I could. But really... The game paces you super hard. Like... As you go into stronger and stronger places, you're going to be getting way more experience than you are at this low of a level. So missing stuff down at this point is really not going to affect much. Uh, it might affect a little bit in the short term. You might be, like, down one level by the time you get to the boss. Oh! Ooh, that one hurts. That one hurts a lot. Please don't hit me with an axe again. That hurt a lot. <laughs> I did not appreciate that. Alright, I can take you out, though. These guys are pretty easy, as long as I hit them. Oh my god! Just die! Stop missing! See, that is that is one thing I like about magic and about bombs. Neither one of them can miss. You cannot miss if you use magic and bombs. Which is really, really nice. But at the same time... Their limited resources. Bombs, not as much so. Because uh, they kind of spam that on you. But magic is a very limited resource, even though it's very, very, very useful. And I'll take you out. And I think what I'm going to do here is just have him use fire. Do like I did before. There we go. That's a bit better. And I'll kill you. No, 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 no. I'm sure there's a way to change that in my settings. Uh, but normally it's very useful to have it remember where your cursor was, as opposed to just default it to be on attack. It can be very useful that way, because it lets you speed through the battles a bit faster, if you know that you just want to do the same thing over and over. But if you ever want to change what you do- How did that not kill him? How did he not die? What the hell? Did my attack get lowered? My attack must have gotten lowered at some point in that battle. Get some more arrows, get some more heal potions. Alright, speaking of- Speaking of healing... I'm gonna use, uh, some curing here. Probably didn't need to use both, but whatever. Where does this take me? That's what I'm really curious about. Oh my god, stop missing! Speed down. And missed. Alright, cool. I'll take it. Die, please. Oh my god! Phoebe! You're killing me! You're killing me! Stop missing with every attack! Please! I swear, it's like every other attack now! Oh my god. Okay. So I'm just gonna bomb you, and you need to die. Thank you. Please die. Go away. I think I have now actually been going long enough that I can probably go to the next episode. Now that I have actually had some continuous amount of recording going. Okay, yeah, and that drops me back down here. Okay, well that makes sense. Well, we will continue to exploring the Wintry Cave tomorrow, 
as I figure out where exactly I need to be here. <laughs> 